This video is for those who would like to start knitting but don't know where to begin. What do you need to buy, which needles, which yarn, where to find tutorials? Don't worry, I will tell you everything right now. My name is Kate and this is my channel where I talk about knitting and crocheting. Here I showcase the projects I'm working on, share tips on organizing your yarn storage and also provide links to cool knitting patterns. I learned to knit and crochet from my grandma when I was 8 years old and I remember I preferred crocheting and I hate knitting because it was too difficult, too many needles, too many stitches, so I was mostly crocheting. I remember I was making rugs and working on laces on uh, small towels, things like this. I really enjoyed but I won't say it was my hobby when I was a teenager, I completely forgot about this. I didn't do anything, not crocheting, not knitting for many years. And then when we moved to Amsterdam nine years ago, I picked up my hobby back. I remembered how I loved crocheting, I have tried it again. And for crocheting I remembered uh, the techniques, I remembered the stitches, so it was easy for me to pick it up back. But since I didn't like knitting as a child, I would be honest with you, I was afraid even to try it. I was, I was sure I will never be able to deal with all these stitches, all these needles, all these things. Uh, but then I have tried several times and I realized it's not so difficult. I was uh, using YouTube tutorials to teach myself how to knit and I love it, I enjoy it and I was able to learn how to knit on my own simply using free tutorials, free videos and I'm sure everyone else able to learn how to knit or how to crochet. All you need is desire and a good tutorial and needles and yarn. <laughs> I firmly believe that to learn how to knit you need yarn, knitting needles, uh, scissors and a measuring tape. That's it. You don't need fancy needle sets, you don't need knitting markers, they are very convenient, they make life easier, but they are not necessary to make a first step. Let's start with needles and they come in different types, different shapes, different materials. Let's discuss three types. There are straight needles, circular needles and double pointed needles. The first one, straight needles, they look like this. They are straight needles <laughs> and you can use them to knit back and forth. So when you work on your project for some time you have all your stitches on this needle, when you turn it and you can work further on your project and you can knit flat. You can easily knit a scarf with them or a cowl for example if you will knit flat and then you will put together the ends. And then circular needles, they look this way, it's uh, two needles on one lace. They join together on this lace and they normally use to work in the round. You can put your stitches on one needle, you join in the, and then you knit in the round row by row. You never turn your work back and forth. They can be used not only to work in the round, also can be used to knit straight, to knit flat. And that's why I will recommend you to buy these needles. And with these needles you can knit a scarf for yourself, knit a cowl, or you can work on a hat, you can work on a sweater later on. So they will be very convenient for your first project, but also you can use them later on when you will progress in your knitting. And then we'll have double pointed needles. It's straight needles, normally five of them. They are used to knit in a round and I think it's more or less like, we can say now it's an old fashioned way to knit in a round. I use them to knit socks sometimes, they are very convenient when you would like to work on something very small, you have small amounts of stitches, or I may use them to knit, to knit my sleeves. I won't recommend you to buy these needles as your first one, because they are very convenient for very specific purposes, such as sock knitting, and I won't recommend you to have socks as your first project. And also, if you would like to work on something like sleeves, it's all, all this could be done with circle needles, you can use magic loop technique and it would work perfectly for you without these double pointed 
needles. It's also important to note that circular needles comes in two different types. They can be interchangeable and not interchangeable. Interchangeable circular needles, uh, it's then you have different needles in different sizes and also you have a lace and you connect your needle to a lace and then you can switch you can have like needle size 3 connect to a lace and then later on connect needle size 5 to the same lace i would say don't worry about this too much right now just buy not interchangeable one one pair of needles that's it what you need for the first step needles also differ in thickness and material needles could be metallic one or wooden one i would say also don't worry about this too much buy the one you will like the most the price will for the which will work better for you and later on try a different type and you can then you can compare and decide which one you will prefer to work with I normally work with metallic needles, but sometimes when I work with a fluffy yarn, with my hair or something like this, I prefer wooden needles. But again, don't worry about this for now, just buy the one you like more, uh, the most and that's it. And about thickness. The thicker your needle, the bigger stitches you will have and the thicker needles don't use this thinner yarn. And this vice versa. To buy, to choose needles, to choose the needle size, we need first to choose the yarn we will work with. Yarn comes in uh, various of types, made from different materials and can be different thickness. To discuss all existing types of a yarn could be a topic for a separate video and I think not just one. Yarn is chosen for specific projects. For example, hats are needed from merino wool normally, uh, the same for scarves, the same for cowls, and to crochet a basket or to knit something for summer, you will probably use cotton, cotton yarn. For the first project, I would recommend you to pick up the smooth yarn, the pretty thick one, so it would be easy to pick up a first stitch. It would be easy to count stitches, to count the rows, to see the difference between two different stitches. Don't pick up fluffy yarn, don't, don't pick up my hair or boucle yarn, un, yarn with angor. This would be a bit tricky for a first project. Color is also important. It would be trickier to see stitches on the dark yarn. And another important note, if you will decide to knit something using the pattern or a YouTube tutorial or whatever, like some instructions, they will mention the yarn you they recommend for this pattern or for this tutorial so you may use uh, their recommendation and buy the exact yarn because the thickness of the yarn is very important for the project. There are optional knitting tools which can make your life easier and can help you to work on your project such as tapestry needles, row country counters and uh, stitch markers. Well, let's start with stitch markers. Stitch markers used to mark the place on your project. So when we need in in a, for example, when we need in a circle, we need to put a marker to know which stitch are the first in our row and there there our row ends. Or sometimes they use to keep uh, the progress, so you may know how many rows you have between two places in your projects. I won't say stitch markers are necessary specifically for the first project. They can be easily replaced with a piece of contrasting yarn. And when I was uh, starting crocheting and knitting, that's how I deal with it. That's what I used for my first projects. Tapestry needles are used to put two pieces of a project together or to wave in the ends. Or if you're working on a hat, sometimes to close the hat uh, you need a tapestry needle for this. It can be done without tapestry needle, but it can be tough. So it depends on the project you will choose as the first one. Tapestry needles may be the necessary tool for you. You can check it out in the pattern or in the tutorial you will use. Does it mention it? How we use it? Could you use something else? instead of tapestry needle. And then row counters. I would say that's completely optional. I would even say you don't need it right now. I have four projects on my needles currently and I don't use row counter for any of them. <laughs> it could be very convenient for very specific projects. Sometimes you need it, but really sometimes. And I doubt 
doubt you will you choose it as your first project. Normally, if you uh, work on something, designers in the pattern or in the tutorial, they will say how many centimeters or inches you should need. So you can just measure it. You don't need count the rows. So of course, if you would like, you can buy it, but do you really need it? Up to you. So now we know what to buy, let's determine the budget. I would say 20 euros would be enough to work on your first knitting project. Circular needles will cost you about 3-10 euros, depends on the brand you will choose. For the budget-friendly options, I will recommend you needles, circular needles from Drops. They are very good. You can knit not only one, not only your first project on them, but you can use them for a few years and it's a great tool for this very nice price. More expensive option would be needles from Knit Pro called Zinc. They will cost you about 8 euros. It's metallic needles. They are also great. I have them in my uh, knitting tools. They are fine. They will serve you well for many years. And then my favorite wooden needles, uh, Symphony from Knit Pro. The pair of needles will cost you about 10 euro. For the yarn, I would recommend you brand drops. They have pretty good quality for a pleasant price. And specifically, you may check out Drops Merina Extra Fine. The skein of this yarn will cost you about 4 euros. And you may use two skein to knit a hat or five skeins to knit a scarf. If you don't want to buy yarn from Drops or you can't find it in the shops in your city, you may use uh, yarn from Katya called Kaita Basic Merino. It's also for euros per skin. It also would be great yarn for beginners. If your project requires tapestry needles, you may pick up the very simple plastic version and it will serve you for many years. And let's discuss another more expensive option to start with your knitting hobby. There are sets which you can buy from different brands. I have experience with brand Via Knitters. I bought a few sets from them. I also have got a set from them uh, when I was learning how to knit and this set contains needles, yarn and a pattern for a project so you can so you don't need to think about anything, you don't have to choose, you don't have to care about which needles, which yarn, where to find a pattern, you just buy this set. But it's much more expensive, but one set will cost you much more than 20 euros. So it's up to you to decide which way you would like to go. Do you want to choose everything on your own or will you uh, choose a set which someone already picked up for you? If you will decide to go this way and if you will, you will decide to buy a set from the knitters, for example, uh, there is a possibility to choose which type of needles you will have in your set. And I will recommend you to choose a circular needles so you can use them later on. The needles qu quality is pretty good there, so they will serve you for a few years after your first project. So we learned about tools and now you need to learn basic uh, stitches and for that you need tutorials. I would won't recommend you to buy tutorials. You can simply search some on YouTube or if you prefer a text format, you can Google. There are a lot of posts about basic knitting stitches, a lot of videos. If you're struggling with something, don't think you bad at knitting and it won't work for you. Probably you just need an hour tutorial because people explain things differently and we also need uh, each of us need a different type of explanation, so maybe if this video doesn't work for you, simply search for another one or check out the text with photos. I'm sure you can find something which will work and I'm sure you can knit, you will learn how to knit and you will be really good at this at some point. Once you've learned basic stitches, you probably would like to knit something more complicated. And for this you need a pattern. You can find knitting patterns on different platforms. Of course, you can find uh, tutorials on YouTube which will explain you how to, how to knit a hat, how to knit a scarf. I, I even know there is a tutorial how to knit a sweater on YouTube and it's free. You also may find patterns on websites as Lovecrafts and Ravelry and I won't recommend you to buy a pattern. I will say simply search for a beginner-friendly option for free one. And patterns vary 
often com contain the links to the YouTube tutorials which explains how to make stitches for these patterns. And of course you can find patterns in the knitting books and magazines. I'm not sure maybe you have some in your library already, so you may use them. I have a video on my channel with a list of beginner-friendly patterns, so maybe this video will help you. You can go and watch this. You can. Uh, I talk about which patterns I would recommend to pick up as a first project. I talk about my own experience, uh, which patterns I picked up when I was uh, a beginner at knitting, and that was my first project. So go and watch, the link would be here and of course also link would be in, this, in the description to this video. So let's sum it up. You decided to try knitting, you decided you will need a cowl for example or a scarf. Go and search for a tutorial, for free tutorial how to knit a scarf or how to knit a cowl. You can search it on YouTube, you can just Google and find text posts which method works for you better choose this option. The yarn I discussed before will work for both for scarf and for a cowl. When you know what you will need, go and check out on this tutorial, on this pattern, which uh, yarn we recommend, which needle size we recommend, and maybe you decided to buy the yarn I recommended in this video before. So go and buy this yarn, check out which needle size is recommended for this yarn, and buy these needles. So now you have needles, you have your yarn, you may start. Take into account if you will work on a cowl, you probably will need to put two pieces together and maybe for this you will need tapestry needle. So maybe you will need to buy this one as well. And that's it. All that's left is pick up needles and knit your first stitch. And I'm sure you can do it. I hope knitting become your cozy, pleasant hobby which will bring you a lot of joy. And that's it for today. Don't forget to put a thumb up if this video was helpful for you and subscribe to my channel to learn more about knitting and also crocheting because I'm also a crocheter and probably I will make a similar video about how to start crocheting. And yeah, see you in my next videos. Happy knitting!